there was a situation years ago with a business owner uh, in Little Village. This business has been around forever. They are synonymous with tamales in the city of Chicago. We were going through a legal battle and I had been calling a number of people for, for help. The thought that this iconic business in Chicago was going to be going out of business because the banks refused to work with them, to me it was just so unacceptable. Susana Mendoza was there for me when our family needed the most. They have now refinanced, and now not only are they stabilized, but they've expanded, they're growing quickly, and I couldn't be prouder. When you have someone who says, I care about the people impacted by my work, then you have a real leader. If we had lost our business, because of what happened eight years ago, uh, there would be 28 families without jobs. She wants to bring people together. She wants to solve problems. She wants to do what's right. I'm the daughter of Mexican immigrants. They came to this country because it was the land of opportunity for them and for their kids. My father, he was a union pipe fitter. So every day of my life, I remember my dad coming home and just knowing what the actual the smell of hard work was. He was such a guiding force for me to get into public service. And my mother, who's an incredibly strong female figure, my mom's always been like the family's rock. So she's the person that I've probably gotten most of my spitfire from. It's definitely my mom. My mother said, oh no, honey, you can't play soccer. That's a boy's sport. And my dad said, honey, you know what? The likelihood is she'll get kicked in the shins. And after the first time she gets kicked in the shins, it's going to hurt. She's not going to want to play. But we signed up for soccer. I got kicked in the shins, I'm sure. And I probably just kicked back harder. She just keeps coming. She doesn't quit. I coached soccer for many years on an all-boys team in Woodridge, Illinois. So I let her play, and she turned out to be the best or one of the best players on the entire team. They said, Coach, she's a girl. I said, yeah, I know. She's the best player I have. She was in the school newspaper every week. She was in the, the Chicago newspapers every week. Susanna was our first female all-state athlete at Bolingbrook High School. I do play in a, in a male-dominated world, but I've always done that since I started playing soccer. And it became not just a sport for me, but really a passion. And it became a huge part of who I am even today. Susanna absolutely will get things done. Um, I have seen her in action. She's fired up. I mean, and you can see the enthusiasm and dedication and commitment written all over her. You know that this is the kind of a person that you like to have represent you in government. You know, once she recognizes a problem, she attacks it head on. She just doesn't talk the talk, she walks the walk. She's also, you know, a wife, a mother of a little guy. She, she juggles it all, she really does. A working mother who is determined to have that impact. She's a wonderful wife and mom. I've got a little three-year-old who I have to think about his future. I have this like embodiment and physical reminder of who I'm fighting for every day of my life. And that only represents every other parent out there who has a little one, whether they're a newborn, a three-year-old, or a 13-year-old, and their future. All the tech complexity that she did at the city clerk, that was a lot. Well, I'm super proud that we've been able to take an archaic, you know, 100 plus year old system of selling city stickers. I modernized the office, we invested in technology. The beauty of it is that we provided this great customer service. I did it with 10% less payroll than when I started. Susanna gets a lot of things done in a very short amount of time. I think she goes to bed thinking, how do I get up tomorrow and make the state of Illinois a better place? If anyone can really root out waste and fraud in the state, it will be Susana Mendoza. There's no amount of money that you could ever put on the feeling and satisfaction of helping others. She doesn't get down. She doesn't quit. Uh, she sees a different path. She has a bipartisan approach to running government. I've seen her work when she was a state representative with individuals across the aisle. I'm running for comptroller because I will be an independent advocate. That is an office that needs to be a truth-telling, fiscal uh, watchdog that is independent of the governor's office. I'm voting for Susanna Mendoza. I am a Republican and I'm voting for Susanna. Susanna Mendoza will work hard for the people of Illinois. Susanna will get things done, no question. She represents consistency. She represents loyalty. And she also represents efficiency and excellence. Susanna personifies what it means to be a woman for others. I'm voting for Susanna. A vote for Susanna Mendoza is a vote for the people of the state of Illinois.